Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy J King, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my top five class setups in Black Ops Cold War. I've done a lot of class setups videos in the past, but I haven't really ranked which guns are going to be the best which attachments, which class is going to be the best overall. That's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. So hopefully I'll be walking away from this video knowing exactly what guns to use to get better at Cold War and also drop more of those nukes. Now, quick PSA before I start, for the VOD review series, I'm going to be opening up submissions to other people's gameplays other than my own. All you have to do is send me an email at jkingofficial at gmail.com. The only requirement I have is you go on at least a 15 kill streak or at least somewhere around there. And then we'll be reviewing your VODs on stream as well. I'll tell you what you did right, what you did wrong in order for you to improve. And also, if this video has helped you at all consider leaving a like and a subscription ring that bell for more content just like this so without further ado let's get into it so hopping right into it, we got our first class here and it's going to be the krieg i think the krieg is a really really good dependable ar for those long ranges and pretty much it's going to be a pretty standard setup we're going to have the microflex led and we're going to have the ranger barrel as well you can either do that one or the takedown barrel it doesn't really matter i'm really just using this for the skin i use a 40 round mag as well and of course the last two tape and stock those are pretty much standard on all attachments this one's going to be running per krieg because I don't think we need Gunfighter on the Krieg. And that's pretty much the standard setup there. So yeah, the Krieg is a really, really good dependable AR. It has very low recoil and it has really, really good range. I do put this at number five for the best classes you can use in Cold War. Number four is going to be similar. This is going to be the XM4. I do put the XM4 a little bit above the Krieg. Just because it has a better time to kill, it's better at those medium ranges, which is where a lot of engagements are actually going to come from. And again, it's going to be pretty standard setup. We are going to be using the infantry compensator here to cut down that vertical recoil, using a takedown barrel for that range increase. And of course, the last tape and last stock, you guys know the drill. And the rest of the class is pretty much going to be the same across the board. I use stem, I use semtex, I use trophies. And I usually try to run perk read with all of these perks right here because I do think it is the best possible class you can have. So yeah, the XM4 is a really, really powerful AR. I'm going to rank this at number four. I think it's just more usable in different situations than the Krieg, and that's why I put it above it. Moving on to number three, this is the AK-74U. This is probably like one of the most used guns in the game, and for good reason. It has very low recoil, fast time to kill, and pretty decent range for an SMG. As far as the attachments, nothing really crazy here. We are going to be using the Spetnaz Compensator. I do use the task force barrel on this if you don't want to do that you can use the rifled barrel and then in turn you can then just use a regular muzzle break but i think the task force barrel if you are playing pubs and not cdl is going to be a better option for you it's going to increase that time to kill i do use the standard foregrip to cut down the horizontal recoil because we don't want none of that and of course the last tape and the last stock and pretty much similar class setup from there we are going to be using perk greed uh, we're going to be using our standard sort of equipment. So yeah, I do rank that at number three. I'm going to explain the reason why it's not number one or two, but it is still a really, really dependable SMG. It has good range, good mobility, pretty much just good everything. Moving on to number two, and I almost ranked this at number one, but the number one gun was just too good not to rank at number one. But this is the M16. If you haven't used this, this is completely overpowered, all right? It is it's absolutely insane the amount of kills and one burst you can get with this. But we are going to be using Gunfighter on it. I do think Gunfighter is a necessity on the M16 to just give it that little bit of edge. And of course, this is going to be the perks that I run when I don't have perk read. But we are going to be using Mill Stop Reflex. We're going to be using the Infantry Compensator, cut down that vertical recoil. I'm going to be using the Strike Team Barrel. This is because the M16 already has decent range. And this is pretty much barely similar to the Task Force Barrel. But the strike team barrel is actually going to give it fire rate rather than range. And I think the M16 already has decent range. It's already pretty good at pretty much almost any range. So giving it that fire rate is going to be better off. And of course, that damage barrel is just its just too good to pass up. Steady aim laser just because I have gunfighter on. We're going to be using this field agent foregrip because the tactical rifles actually have a better bonus for this attachment. So we're going to be using that to cut down that recoil. 45 round mag and then of course the last tape and the last stock. So yeah, this is pretty much my number two class setup. Um, this is an extreme extremely good gun it's good at any range you're going to get insane one burst it's going to be like an insane time to kill and it's really really just a good weapon to use and i'm going to rank this at number two and now for the moment we've all been waiting for number one the lc10 you guys probably saw this coming every time i post a short and i use the lc10 i get roasted for it because obviously the gun's pretty overpowered and i do agree with you guys i'm going to be showing you guys the attachments and the setups that you should be using on this gun if you use this gun you're, you're going to get better at call of duty like you're going to have an advantage over the other people obviously other people might be using it but this is the best weapon in the game it has an insane amount of range low recoil fast time to kill it's pretty much just got everything that you can want so we are using perk greed and we're going to have our standard perks here standard equipment standard you know secondary secondary is just whatever you want really as far as attachments we're going to be using infantry compensator and that is because i'm using the task force barrel i think this is the perfect gun for the task force barrel 
obviously if you are playing cdl you can't use this but in public matches use this like just just use it the gun hardly has any recoil to begin with so just adding that damage adding that range adding that bull velocity is just gonna take it over the top and just make it even more overpowered i'm gonna be using patrol grip on this one just because it doesn't hardly have any horizontal recoil 73 is not bad so we're gonna just throw on the patrol grip rather than the foregrip just to give it a little bit more mobility some sprint to fire time some sprinting move speed just to get around the map a little quicker getting those engagements that we want and of course the last tape and last stock you guys know the drill but this is the number one gun that you can use in black ops cold war right now it has not been nerfed in a very long time and then they're probably not going to nerf it at this point so yeah this is my number one gun to use use this if you want to go on nuke streaks use this if you want to go on just overall kill streak just to get better at cold war and yeah guys that is today's video that was my top five class setups in black ops cold war let me know what you guys thought down in the comments any more video suggestion ideas and i will see you guys in the next one